Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're here at the State Emergency Operations Center, which is just outside Sacramento, California. And we are going to give an update on the wildfires statewide, uh, including the resources and some of the things that are going on for helping these communities in the process of dealing with the wildfires that are currently burning. Behind me are four of our state officials in public safety. The first uh, speaking this morning is going to be Director Mark Gilarducci. He's the director here at the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. He'll be followed by the Director Ken Pimlot of CAL FIRE, and then Warren Stanley, who's the Commissioner of the California Highway Patrol, and then David Baldwin, who's the Adjutant General of the California National Guard. As soon as they're gi uh, done giving their remarks, uh, we'll take a few questions. Um, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot of questions this morning because there's some things uh, that they need to get to right afterwards, but we'll do our best. We also have um, uh, uh, Bob Fenton from uh, FEMA here as well, who will not be speaking, but could answer questions if there's any specifics for FEMA. So with that, we'll start with Director Gillarducci. Thanks, Kelly. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I'm Mark Gillarducci, the director here at the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Um, <clears throat> well, let me start off by saying that uh, literally the last 48 hours uh, here in California have been uh, extremely challenging, starting with the tragic shooting in Thousand Oaks and requirement in, to support the communities in Ventura County, uh, followed by uh, the fire that, that, that uh, broke out up in uh, Butte County, uh, the Camp Fire, uh, which uh, has been uh, an extremely challenging fire and has resulted in significant and catastrophic loss for, uh, for that community, the communities of Paradise specifically. Uh, uh, just outside of Chico. And then a number of fires that uh, uh, broke out over the evening down in Southern California, um, two, two uh, uh, again in Ventura County, uh, um, and, and both of them relatively significant. Uh, the magnitude of the destruction that we are seeing uh, is uh, uh, really, again, unbelievable and uh, heartbreaking, and our, our hearts go out to everybody who has, has uh, been infected by this and impacted. Uh, we know that there have been uh, injuries, and we know that there have been uh, loss of life, and uh, we are still accounting for that and working with our local authorities um, who will, uh, as they get a better handle on the number of fatalities uh, and people impacted, will start to share that information uh, as it gets confirmed. Uh, the leaders uh, you see behind me here represent just part of our entire state's response system that is involved with responding to these events statewide. Obviously, California is a very large state, and uh, we've got all hands on deck being able to effectively respond to all of these uh, um, uh, emergencies as they evolve and new, e new ones. Uh, I, I, it's important to note that, that weather-wise, we are literally in a statewide red flag uh, uh, weather warning. Fire weather conditions are extreme, and we are seeing it from literally border to border. Um, which is making our, uh, our job obviously much harder. Um, and everything here at the State Operations Center from the state perspective in support of our local governments is being coordinated um, uh, here at the State Operations Center. Um, so we have um, uh, representatives from all the state agencies located here. And right now, um, they, they're really trying to get assessments on the amount of damage, the amount of loss, uh, what resources are required, and being able to continue to fill uh, open orders for uh, all different kinds of assets and, um, and uh, supplies. Currently, we have roughly uh, about 105,000 people evacuated in Southern California uh, at the two fires, the Hill Fire and the Wolsey Fire, and roughly about 52,000 evacuated in Northern California, predominantly uh, around the Camp Fire. Um, roughly 100, uh, 1,860 mutual aid firefighters from uh, fire departments up and down California. These are local government fire agencies that participate in the mutual aid system that are responding to these fires throughout California. That's nearly 500 mutual aid fire engines um, and, uh, and, as I say, 1,860 firefighters. We also have hundreds of law enforcement officers from agencies up and down the state that are supporting law enforcement mutual aid, providing security, 
assisting with evacuations and, uh, and any other kind of assessment that's required, search and rescue operations, et cetera. Um, and we are currently are requesting additional firefighting assistance from our neighboring states through the Emergency Management Assistance Compact. Uh, we have reached out to Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Wyoming, and Washington uh, for uh, seeing how, much, uh, how many resources that we can get to come in. Uh, we are not just responding to what's in front of us, but we are also uh, uh, contemplating what the next uh, 24 and 48 hours are going to look like. We know that the winds will die down, but then we are going to be picking up another wind event that will be starting late Sunday and going into early next week. So we really need to be thinking about this from a strategic uh, standpoint. Uh, this morning, uh, Acting Governor Newsom uh, did sign a new proclamation for states of emergency for Ventura and Los Angeles County. That's in addition to the state of emergency that he proclaimed, proclaimed yesterday for, the, for Butte County and the Camp Fire. Uh, today's uh, proclamation takes into account the Hill and the Wolseley Fire, uh, and that will uh, ensure that additional resources uh, and any regulatory impediments and any state public safety assets are applied effectively. Uh, and of course, yesterday, uh, as was noted, uh, he did make a request uh, up, up to the White House for uh, uh, direct federal assistance. Direct federal assistance is not a major disaster declaration. It, it, is, uh, it is just what it says. It's being able to get direct federal assets uh, to support our firefighting uh, and search and rescue operations. Um, and then in addition, uh, we were able to secure uh, yet another federal uh, fire management assistance grant last night. Um, that's three that, that we were able to uh, obtain over the last 24 hours to support uh, the various fires in Southern California. So our priorities will continue to be to support firefighting and life-saving operations, uh, supporting uh, CAL FIRE and the other local government fire agencies that are directly responsible for suppressing the fire, um, providing whatever resources needed for life-saving operations. Uh, our second priority will continue to be evacuations and supporting sheltering operations for these, these great number of people that have been evacuated. The third is uh, support, um, support our local government in identifying uh, victims and, and identifying missing persons. And the fourth would really be to start working on our damage assessment so we can get a better idea uh, about uh, seeking um, uh, ad additional uh, assistance where necessary, uh, you know, particularly when we're seeing uh, the amount of loss that we're seeing in, um, in the campfire up in Paradise. Um, so with that, let me turn it over to our next speaker, uh, Director, Cal, uh, Director Ken Pamlot of CAL FIRE will go over all of our fire fighting operations. Chief. Thank you, Director Ghilarducci. Good morning. Uh, as the Director mentioned, uh, red flag conditions, critical fire weather across all of California. And although the wind may change in different places throughout and be more intense and reduce at times, we are basically looking at a very significant dangerous weather pattern through the rest of this weekend and into early next week throughout all of California. So when this first fire, when the uh, campfire started yesterday morning, just over 24 hours ago at 6.33 in the morning, it was immediately met with over 40 mile an hour winds. That fire from the second it started was off to the races, quickly grew within minutes to 200, 1,000 acres, uh, and was well off to uh, burning at dangerous rates of spread. These are the kinds of conditions that we're seeing across California. We've been talking about this year after year. Uh, critical dryness of our vegetation, winds that are blowing in excess of 40 or 50 miles an hour. Uh, what we have this morning, as, as Director Ghilarducci said, we have fire departments from all over California. We have CAL FIRE. We have uh, the California Conservation Crew, hand crews. We have our inmate fire crews. Uh, and many others, over 6,000 firefighters on the fire lines this morning across the state. We've got six major fires burning, but the three are critical. The Camp Fire uh, in Butte County, uh, and the two in Ventura County, the Hill Fire and the Woolsey Fire. Uh, in particular, the, the Woolsey Fire burned uh, uh, very rapidly overnight, crossing Highway 101 in Ventura County, uh, and is you know, burning in a trajectory towards uh, the Pacific coast and in this area fire history over the decades has shown uh, under the Santa Ana wind conditions that will be continuous throughout today there in that area will continue to drive that fire uh, in that direction. Uh, 
So again, we are monitoring all of this. We're, as Director Giladucci said, we have ordered up additional fire engines, over 100 fire engines from outside of California, bringing those uh, additional resources in. Uh, but we are a long ways from being out of the firefight. Right now, we, our focus is on life safety. There are active rescues continuing to go on uh, on all of these fires, and in particular, the Camp Fire uh, in Butte County. Folks have talked about it. Uh, yesterday, uh, fire conditions were critical. Uh, we had hundreds of fire resources and law enforcement resources in the area, but often folks talk about aircraft. We have every available aircraft uh, signed up and available and responding uh, to us here throughout the state. The challenge is high winds and visibility oftentimes hamper the ability to use those aircraft effectively, but we are using them in every opportunity that we get. They were flying all the fires yesterday and putting in um, containment lines or control lines wherever they can. We will continue to put them into the fight, but understand right now it's all hands on deck to rescue people and ensure getting people out of harm's way. And we will continue to trigger evacuations wherever necessary to ensure we get uh, people out uh, of, uh, of harm's way. Uh, in particular, Butte County, well-practiced at organizing disasters. We, we all know what has occurred over the years, it, particularly in this community of Paradise and the other mountain communities. A fire has been in these areas before. This is a community that has continued to prepare with fire safe councils, they have been doing fuels treatments, working very diligently, but they also know the risk where they live. And these were well-practiced evacuations. The process has been in place, but understand how quickly that fire has been spreading as well as the ones in Southern California. Again, it just points right back to our message and what our message continues to be um, every day here in California. Every day is fire season somewhere in California. Every day we have the potential for these large, damaging, destructive, and deadly wildland fires. And so again, we really put this back to the public. Fire agencies, law enforcement, public safety, everyone is responding with every tool in the toolbox. But we need the public to continue to listen to the message, pay attention to evacuation information, follow very closely all of the public safety social media, ready for wildfire, many others, local counties, law enforcement, pay very close attention. Pay a close attention to your neighbors. As folks saw in the news yesterday, literally what happened in paradise was neighbor helping neighbor. Make sure your neighbor knows what's going on. Be prepared to evacuate with your neighbors so that everyone gets out. Uh, we will continue to obviously prepare, provide resources throughout the remainder uh, of these conditions. Uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, the Commissioner of the Highway Patrol, uh, Warren Stanley. Thank you, Director Pinlot, and working with uh, our, my partners back here from the other state agencies. Uh, for these fires, uh, the three main fires that we've spoken about, we have 125 personnel assigned to those fires. Most of those personnel are assigned to the Camp Fire in Butte County, approximately 75, and they're assisting with traffic control and evacuation and other things that come up as, as uh, may be needed. Also down in Southern California, the fires in Ventura County, we have personnel there. What we have done, uh, so we can move our resources around more easily, uh, here, all the CHP offices here in Sacramento County, they've put, been put on tactical alert. They are all on 12-hour shifts. So we have the ability to move them around to different fires as they expand or as new fires come up in order to provide support. We also have a number of air assets, uh, our helicopters uh, for traffic monitoring, also uh, rescue if needed. Uh, and as Director Pimlot said, uh, we're in it for the long haul. We're at the very, very uh, beginning of this. We appreciate the public support. And, and I would ask, and I know my partners back here behind me would also ask that uh, the areas where the fires are, please stay out of those areas. We have a lot of equipment, law enforcement officers, fire department personnel coming in and out of there, those areas moving a lot of equipment in and out to fight these fires and get them out as soon as possible so we can get the people's back people back into their neighborhood as soon as possible. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, David Baldwin, uh, the General of the uh, California National Guard. Thanks, Commissioner. I'm uh, Major General Dave Baldwin, the Adjutant General of California, which means I command the California Army National Guard, the Air National Guard, and our State Military Reserve. We currently have 185 personnel on duty, predominantly providing support to the campfire. That includes uh, air crews that are flying both manned and unmanned aircraft for incident awareness. We're bringing in satellite imagery experts to assist with uh, damage assessments 
and fire mapping through space-based systems. We also have 100 military police officers that are heading to uh, Butte County to assist uh, the Sheriff's Department with evacuations and securing the evacuated areas. The rest of the California National Guard is on alert and prepared to deploy throughout the state if necessary. I'll be followed by uh, Director Ghilarducci. Okay, thanks, General Baldwin. Any questions uh, we can answer? It's still pretty hard to, to assess. We, we know that there was a lot of movement of people trying to get out of, uh, out of the Paradise area yesterday. We, we know there are fatalities, but, but we really can't put a number on it quite yet. Do you know how people died? Are people stuck in their homes or their cars? Pretty early to tell, yeah. Anything else? So the, the uh, Sheriff's Department in Butte County uh, uh, was able to send information out, make notifications, and, and uh, a lot of that, the fire moved so fast, uh, uh, m many notifications were made by uh, deputies and other public safety personnel actually going from house to house to make notifications. Um, uh, so it was sort of a combination of, of, uh, of different sort of methods for being able to make notifications. Do not know yet. Although I, I think we can say with the surety we don't have any uh, reports of um, public safety personnel that that That's have correct. been first responders. First responders. That's that is correct. correct. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll we'll uh, move it back over to Kelly, and you'll identify next time. We'll uh, we don't have another press conference scheduled for today. However, if things do change, uh, we will do another one here. Um, you, uh, please pay attention to the local press conferences, both in Butte County and down in Ventura and Los Angeles counties. We'll also have an archive of this video uh, for live streaming, uh, from the live stream available for people to review, and then a, a roll-up of the facts that came out of this uh, press briefing. So thank you, everybody.